Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I get to check out the special edition 4K release of Dragons Forever from Idiot Films. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So, finally got it again after delays with Royal Mail and their strikes, which is driving me up the wall. Uh, and I finally have got this 4K edition of Dragons Forever in my hand, which I am very, very excited for. Um, was it needed? Maybe not. Um, you know, we've already had two releases from Idiot Films of this classic Jackie Chan and Sammo Hung and Yoon Byo movie. Um, this is a very, very different presentation. Uh, as you can see here, this artwork um, is just something else. Now, um, you can go back and look at the original um, Blu-ray release uh, review uh, and unboxing and then the Steelbook edition from Media Films. Um, but I will briefly go through other editions that I have had of one of my favourite Hong Kong movies. And that, of course, started with this beautiful VHS release uh, from American Imperial which um, has a cover there, of course, from Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars with Jackie, Andy Lau and Yoon Byo, um, which threw me for years when I was a young teen as to why that was on the cover there. Um, but of course, it fast became one of my all-time favourites. Uh, thankfully, soon after that, I say soon, uh, late 90s, I believe, um, maybe early 2000s, uh, 2005, oh God, okay. So double... Uh, double disc DVD release from Hong Kong Legends. This is a fantastic release um, and it was packed with special features. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on there that um, was fresh, was great to see. Some of which have been carried over and I will go over that with you once we get there. Um, so of course then came about the first Blu-ray release uh, with artwork from Kung Fu Bob from Idiot Films. And I was super excited because I was asked to do an interview um, piece for this release which is wonderful um blah 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 you can see George Clark right there very very stoked very excited of course to be a part of this uh, as brief as it was it was just nice to be included um of course that uh, was the first release and it was an incredible release and then they went down the line of releasing it not that long ago by the way uh, on uh, this in this steelbook edition which I was very hesitant about um picking up but uh, of course then I heard that they were <laughs> carrying over my interview and stuff uh, and the other special features onto this and I thought oh what the fuck I may as well just pick it up. I haven't been part of a steelbook edition before it's nice to see. Then I heard they were putting the same thing onto this 4k release and I thought well that would be nice to have uh, myself included on a 4k release it would be my first 4k release which is wonderful and of course then I had to go and pick it up. But I couldn't deny the fact that this looks absolutely gorgeous. It is a stunning, stunning release. Um, I think, is it Sean Longmore? Um, uh, bu -bu 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 I will find that artwork there. But yeah, Sean Longmore, of course it is. Um, absolutely gorgeous. And again, such a different color palette to what we've seen before. Um, on the back here, we have a ton of special features as it seems. But there hasn't been a lot of new stuff added to this. So I would say, if you don't have a 4K player, don't worry about this one. If you've already got those other releases, maybe don't worry about this one, perhaps. There's a few things on there, but as a dedicated fan and collector, I just had to reach out and grab this. Okay, so what's new? Uh, let me go through. Of course, we have got the 4K um, presentations, uh, which the others had the 4K restorations, but they were released on Blu-ray. This is, of course, giving you the chance to watch it in uh, on the 4K disc or on Blu-ray. Um, so we got the 4K presentation of the Hong Kong Cut. Uh, runs at 94 minutes. Uh, you have got the 4K presentation of Cyclone Z, which runs for 98 minutes. That was the Japanese uh, cut of the movie. Um, then, uh, boom, 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 what else have we got there? We have got the 4K presentation of the international cut at 94 minutes. Um, uh, there's a new audio commentary by Frank Jang and F.J. DeSanto on the Japanese cut on Cyclone Z. 
Uh, of course, the audio commentary with Mike Leader and Arna Venema carries over from the, the Hong Kong cut. Then you have a new interview with Chingar Luck and uh, a new interview with Sido uh, Chiu Kong, who um, is one of the writers, it seems, writing for the Dragons. Um, apart from that, I think everything else is carried over from the other, uh, from the previous releases, from the original Blu-ray release uh, from Media Films. Uh, so there's quite a bit there, some of which actually do come from the Hong Kong Legends um, DVD. So what else have we got? We have got an interview with Benny the Jet, Arquides, uh, discussing Dragons Forever, an interview with David Desser, Hong Kong Cinema Forever, an interview with Mike Leader, Working with the Dragons, an interview with Jude Poyer, uh, the legacy of Dragons Forever featurette with today's actors and martial artists, including Troy Sanford, Chris Jones, Ross Boyask, uh, Maria Tran, Mike Leader, Sean Paul Lee, Mark Strange, Mike Moeller, George Clark, Jude Poyer and Steve Lawson. Um, Double Jeopardy, an interview with Brad Allen. Uh, Beyond Gravity, an interview with Joe Ego. Tiebreaker, an interview with Billy Choi. Kickfighter, an interview with Andy Chang. Um, again, stuff that I uh, remember being on the Hong Kong Legends DVD there. Uh, you've got ITX and Behind the Scenes, an English trailer, a Hong Kong trailer, music videos, uh, both in English and in Cantonese, um, a can additional Cantonese dialogue and double-sided artwork featuring new artwork by Sean Longmore and the original Hong Kong poster. I mean, it's an incredible piece it's an incredible collection it, it's annoying in the sense that they keep releasing this over and over um and just taking our money which is fine because again uh, as a collector i kind of just want these editions over and over and over but i do want to see more new stuff i want to be able to put my my money on new titles on new things um okay let's get stuck into it so again stunning box absolutely i mean sturdy 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 box and i am so happy to have it as I said in my collection so here we have inside released in on the black or with the black 4k um casing which is fantastic inside there we have got some lobby cards let me just pop them out uh, I will get back to those and then here we have the double disc of course one is 4k and one is blu-ray I think I hit them right yep 4k and blu-ray and again Quite different to what has been released before um, disc wise. I haven't checked whether or not these lobby cards have been released in the previous ones. I don't think so. I think it was just a booklet in the first one. Um, let's see on the back. Okay so I'm gonna have to share these with you one by one. So here we have some shots from the movie and then on the back another shot in black and white but they do look amazing i mean i love this movie who doesn't love dragons forever uh, it's just an absolute genuine classic of hong kong cinema and i mean such an ironic ironic title for the last film featuring <laughs> featuring jackie samu and yun Byo, which is hugely unfortunate um, and I think it's time we all blew our wishes away in, in seeing these guys get back together for <laughs> another movie um, with the, the three brothers uh, or a sequel <laughs> to Dragons Forever. I think that time has passed. Um, as much as I wish it would have happened um, and have been wishing for decades. But no, that, that's just not it's not going to happen unfortunately. So yes, the irony in the title um, has made this even more, I guess, special <laughs> to some degree. Um, and Yoon Byo, I mean, again, incredible moments of action in there from Yoon Byo, but um, kind of KO'd too soon, I believe, um, which left Jackie and Samo to uh, really ramp up the uh, the final battles, he does get a he does get to to take part, of course, um, and it is a stunning, stunning showcase, an absolutely stunning showcase. Of course, inside we also have got this amazing poster. Woo! Look at this! Oh my God! Okay, this is 
freaking incredible. Sean Longmore is amazing. This is stunning, an absolutely stunning piece of artwork. And as much as I adore the original Hong Kong uh, poster, and especially this kind of big head caricature cartoon artwork uh, from Hong Kong, I I definitely, this has to go on my wall. This is just, and next to likes of Tiger Cage and, and others that he's done, this is totally worthy of framing. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Wow. Okay, let me pop that back in there. And then there is this ginormous book. Oh my God, this is thick as. Look at that though, how gorgeous. Spectacular action all the way as Jackie Chan busts a high tech drug ring. A wee bit of recycling there. Um, because as you can see here on the back, they have taken this here to put there, which is fine. Um, I mean, it's gonna take me ages getting through this with you, uh, showing you page by page. There is three new writings in there. Two new writings, sorry. The Last Fight by Matthew Edwards and Three Sisters by CJ Lines. I'm hoping then that this is fresh writings, which I'd be really uh, pleased with. But inside, lots of photos. And of course the writing uh, from each of them. And there's going to be, no doubt, a host of wonderful photos. Uh, I mean, I would love to go through this with you page by page, but it's quite a big book and it's going to take a long time. A lot of, uh, lot of sets, uh, shots from the set there, a lot of behind the scenes, uh, some great artwork there, of course. Different styles of artwork, different types of artwork. But yeah, oh, ah, and it's just popped out there to me. There's my name again. Thank you, Idiot Films. I appreciate it. <laughs> How cool. Yes, um, definitely plenty to enjoy in there. Uh, what have we got, like 80 pages or more? My God. Yeah, there's quite, quite a bit in there to get through. Um, okay, so uh, all that leaves me to do now is... Hang on, bear with me one wee second. What did I totally forget? The cover, of course I did. And on the other side, two uh, different types of Hong Kong artwork. Which I am going to flip around because, you know, Sean Long Moore has got the, uh, the box there. Um, so it's only fair if I pop this in. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. I mean, it looks odd as, but you know what? Here we go. All done and dusted. So yes, I am going to go in, check this out. Uh, again, I don't need to put it up against anything that has previously been released from Idiot because the Blu-ray and 4K are here together. Um, I will put them side by side, hoping that the 4K really does stand out a little more so than what the 4K restoration on the Blu-ray already does. Um, but I think to the untrained eye, as I said, it's not going to make much of a difference. So yes, going to go check it out and I'll let you know what I think in a little bit. So just back after checking out the uh, 4K release of Dragons Forever from Idiot Films. And I have to say, yes, absolutely. This is the ultimate edition of this classic Jackie Chan movie. It is fucking stunning. Um, I did pop in the Blu-ray with its 4K restoration on there, of course, and watched it for about 10 or 15 minutes to let that quality sink in. And it, again, as I mentioned before to the untrained eye, there's not a lot of difference, but whenever you do pop in that 4K disc, it real the sharpness goes up, the colors change. Everything about it looked even more spectacular, and it is stunning. It is so, worth the watch. Um, I, I mean, that said, there's only a few extra features on here. If you don't have a 4K player, I wouldn't say, just don't rush out for it. There's a few extra features on here that are new. Uh, the audio commentary from Frank Jang uh, and FD, FD, FJ DeSanto, I have yet to go back and listen to. Um, I did watch the Cyclone Z cut, the Japanese cut, which they cover, um, but I did watch it and it's 
um, original language with English subtitles. So I will go back and listen to them. I have listened to the one with um, Mike and Arna before on the Hong Kong cut. Uh, there's also a new interview with the wonderful Chingar Lock, which runs for around 40 minutes, maybe just slightly under 40 minutes, but fascinating to listen to. He's an amazing star, amazing stuntman, amazing filmmaker, um, and it was great just to hear his uh, stories and views on his time in the industry. Um, there's also more of him with his brother and Timmy Hung in Tiebreaker, the, the, the Billy Choi um, doco, which has been covered on the other releases there, of course. Um, and then there's also the interview with writer um, Sido Chukong, who is, I mean, it's a guy I never imagined would be, anyone would be in a rush to interview as such, um, but his interview runs for about 47, 48 minutes, and again, just fascinating to listen to, fascinating to hear how you get into the business, what he's, who he's uh, wrote for, what he's wrote um, and his time in the industry. It is, it is worth checking out. Um, that said, is it enough if you don't have a 4K player? Is it enough to warrant a buy of this um, beautiful collection? Probably not. Um, and should 88 Films stop releasing the same title over and over again? Absolutely, please <laughs> stop releasing the same things over and over. We want something new. It'd be great if you could just put your investment into some more amazing titles. Um, for me, honestly, the first release, the first Blu-ray release of Dragons Forever was amazing. There was no need to follow that up with a Steelbook release and this. I get the 4K thing, but I mean, it, it's just, it's really not needed. But this is absolutely gorgeous. There is no need to go any further with this. It is a stunning, stunning release. The artwork from Sean uh, Longmore, which also carries over here on the menu. So both the Blu-ray and the 4K have the same look here, have the same menu, have the same soundtrack play. Um, they carry that, as I mentioned before, this new sort of Warner Brothers DC menu uh, where you pop into and it brings up a bar that you go across. I'm not a fan of it, a huge fan of it. I think it, it's just something that needs to maybe be looked at and changed. Um, but apart from that, it is an absolutely stunning set. Double thumbs up from me and probably the last great buy of 2022. So I'm so happy to have it in my collection. There we go. I uh, just wanted to say, uh, while I have you here, thank you very much for your support over 2022. Uh, I'm looking forward to next year, 2023, uh, where I can bring you a lot more stuff, a lot more unboxing and reviews. Uh, hopefully more interviews with untold stories and um, yeah, a lot more, maybe some more show and tells there. Um, so happy new year to you. Hope you had a great Christmas and happy holidays. Uh, and yes, thank you once again for your support. Much appreciated. And thank you for watching me here on Invincible Asia. So there we have it folks, if you haven't already, please head on over to InvincibleAsia.com where you can check out as many full movie reviews on these movies from my collection that I can possibly write about. Follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia and at MovieMisfit where I post bullet reviews and other things that I simply cannot put to video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell here on the YouTube channel as well as checking out all my other content. Thank you so much for your support and until next time, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.